Man, do I love a low-budget noir western. And you put Nick Cage and Dennis Hopper in the same film, you get Red Rock West. Michael, played by Nicolas Cage, a discharged Marine turned drifter, ends up in Red Rock, Wyoming, in search of honest work. Wayne, played by J.T. Walsh, a local bar owner, offers Michael the dishonest work of carrying out a hit on his wife, Suzanne, played by Laura Flynn Boyle. After mistaking him for the actual human, Lyle from Dallas, that he hired to murder his spouse. Before Michael can split town with his down payment, he runs into the real Lyle, played by Dennis Hopper. And from there on, all hell breaks loose in Red Rock West. Michael is an honest guy to a point he gets denied work because of his knee injury but he can still do one arm push-ups and nick cage brings this vulnerability to michael doesn't go full nick cage until he has to jt walsh steals every scene that he's in every scene this guy is just amazing as the sheriff and also the guy hiring a hitman to kill his wife and he's looking for lyle he doesn't know what lyle looks like and he ends up hiring michael who says that he's lyle then the real Lyle shows up. Dennis Hopper, <laughs> he just does his thing. He's amazing here as Lyle, um, over the top, in all the right ways. I had never heard of this movie until Cinegraph decided to release this as their second title. And man, was I blown away by this title. It's just, it's right up my alley. The closest thing we've had recently is the movie Hell or High Water. Anything in that shared universe kind of is Red Rock Canyon West-esque. But we don't get a lot of these movies anymore about this small town, real characters. And this is a really small town. I mean, J.T. Walsh is the sheriff and basically owns the town, bought his way into that position. The four of them end up on this crazy ride that I don't want to go into many spoils, but there's a lot of twists and turns in this. Even within the first 30 minutes, you're like, wow, that's a lot has happened. And it's only a 90 minute film. The cinematography is amazing. There's a lot of cool lighting, a lot of cool camera effects, camera angles. Score was great. You get a, a nice uh, Dwight Yoakam cameo. Can't go wrong with Red Rock West. And this new set this seems like the definitive collection. Let's get into it. Special features include a new interview with director and co-writer John Dahl. So there's two interviews here with John Dahl. And again, same problem that it had with Little Darlings and special features. There's some mic interference, audio dropping at one point. So hopefully we can correct those issues in the future cinematograph on the next couple of releases. Um, this is a new 4K restoration from the 35mm Interpositive. It's not a UHD. It's a Blu-ray. But wow, it looks... Fantastic. The transfer is very clean, crisp, but still maintaining that film grain that we love. And yeah, let's check out the packaging. The second release by Cinegraph, Red Rock West. Simplistic display here on the back. Limited edition number. Very academic again. The red writing, the Cinegraph title. Again, the simple push in comes out. No fingerprints too on this material, which is great. Again, highly recommend uh, Red Rock Red Rock West. I'm giving Red Rock West my highest recommendation. If you haven't seen the film, have no fear. If you're into the noir genre at all, check out Red Rock West and you will not be disappointed. It is a fantastic film. Very underrated film. From my understanding, it was sold to HBO, so it never really had a theatrical run. Maybe like very limited, but didn't really take off until it hit HBO. And didn't even really take off from there, from my understanding. Uh, this is a gem from the 90s that I will rewatch over and over and over from now on. Have you guys seen Red Rock West? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on this new set and the film itself. 
And as always, this has been Return of the Disc. I'm Dan.